Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a follow-up video on the previous video that I did a few days ago back on October 6, 2018. And before I get into that, I just want everyone to know um, for the record that I do a lot of follow-up videos on other videos that I've done in the past and I get a lot of requests from people to do videos. So uh, I don't have time to respond to everybody as far as the comments that I get. I just pick a few uh, random and usually I'll just do videos about it so everybody can learn. And I also don't have time to watch information on, online. I don't have to learn anything online. I already know the process because I've been doing this for so long. And I'll show you that here in a moment that this is, this is like in my sleep. I, I can go through this and recite this in my sleep for everything because I've gotten better and better and better as time goes on. So I'm going to show you in a moment what I said about herpes being a parasite, but uh, herpes is a virus, and I never said it was actually uh, a physical parasite, which this is, that it was caused by a parasite. And if you look at the date on here, this is June 26, 2014, and the video I'm going to show you here in a moment says April 9th, 2014. So I knew that outbreaks were caused by a parasite before that article was even done. So let's take a look at what I said. It is a parasitic-like virus. Yes, it's still a virus, but it's caused by a parasite. Now, let's take a look at that. Was it caused by a parasite outbreaks? Signals from the immune system uh, that help repel a common parasite inadvertently can cause a dormant viral infection to become active again. A new study shows. So this is in June, and when I recorded the original video, it was in April of 2014. So, the same signals cause an inactive herpes virus infection in mice to begin replicating again. There should have specified outbreaks, but I was correct, and I'm still correct today. Herpes is a virus, but it caused by a parasite as far as outbreaks can be caused because a lot of people have parasites okay so let's go and look at this here's a video I did on December 2nd 2013 right okay this is about raw foods versus conventional foods so I've been promoting a raw food diet for a long time uh, well Five, uh, five years is a long time to me, almost five years. And then if you click on my channel, as here's all the videos I have. You go on my channel and you just click the videos. You can sort by and you can do this. I don't make any money on the views. This is just showing you that I have a lot of videos, okay? So let's take a look at this. Herpes and raw foods, people need to know. Here's me, February 25th, 2015. Herpes and raw foods, people need to know. Look at all that beautiful fruit. I've been promoting fruit for a while, folks. Didn't just wake up yesterday and started doing this. Here's my famous Blendtec blender. I love this blender. And this was back in July 25th, 2014. I used to do these after my runs and do the shakes. This, this one's only got 5,500 views, but I got another one on my channel. It's got a lot more views. And uh, this is something that uh, I used to love. And I don't do any blending anymore. Is it bad for you? No. But when you're eating fresh fruits, it's a lot better because when you blend them, it separates the fiber and sugar. Uh, back then, I was doing a lot of, uh, you know, greens and uh, you know other things in there, just blending everything together. You know, it got me started. It really eased me into the process, and there was nothing wrong with that. Would I do any blending today? No. Actually, I don't even have this blender. I threw it away because it was old. I used the heck out of it, and I don't need it anymore. So. You know, again, uh, promoting, you know, greens in a blender back then, hey, gets you to ease into it, but nothing's better than fruit. Greens slow down the process, they won't stop it, but that's a lot more now uh, that I know than I did previously in 2014, but 2015, that's when I really started getting more into the fruit and things like that. So, uh, here's a video I did recently on July 11, 2018 about digestive enzymes. 
uh, prebiotics, probiotics, you know, avoid it. Uh, there's enough bacteria already in your gut. See, I know all of this now. Does any of this really have any more benefit than not to? I don't take any of this, and I take tons of the oregano. I've been on my cycle here, two drops a day, three times a day, doing doing that during intermittent fasting, and it works phenomenal. It works even better. Am I worried about probiotics, prebiotics? No, I'm not. If you watch this whole video, you'll learn more about that. It's just not necessary, folks. And then the icing on the cake uh, for everyone that uh, is hasn't just you know watched all my videos as I just uh, showed you and is new to my channel. This is December 7, 2016. This is actual test results, and I didn't start getting these for a while. Why? Because a lot of people they don't want to give you this information. But this is the true way to show that someone is uh, not only legitimate, but they know what they're doing. And if you click on my channel, as I showed you, you can you can start watching more of these videos and you can learn more about it, but I've been doing this a while, folks. So keep moving forward. Herpes is a virus that has outbreaks caused by a parasite. You can kill bacteria in a parasite, yet detox out a virus. Thank you so much, folks. Bye-bye.